Hey guys, um, so working on the shorty a little bit today. Um, this isn't gonna be a shorty video, but if you haven't um, watched the shorty build, um, I'll link it above for you guys to see um, if you wanna watch it. So basically it's a second gen with a P-Pump 6.7 in it. But we are gonna do um, the drop valve method for finding top dead center. Um, there is a few things you'll need to do this. Um, you will need a, you're gonna need um, some way of adjusting the rocker. So whether, if it's a 12 valve or a 24 valve, it doesn't matter, this is gonna be the same method. Uh, they're gonna be the same method for doing this. Um, so you will require um, some way of, so this will be either Allen key or a flat blade screwdriver. Um, you know, you're gonna need um, feeler gauges to reset afterwards. Uh, 9 16 or, well I use a 9 16 wrench to break your jam nuts loose. A dial indicator. Now, if you don't have the harmonic balancer on, uh, you, you're going to use a degree wheel. And the reason I use a degree, reason we're using a degree wheel right now, I'm going to check the installed center line of the camshaft um, in the next video. So I'll, that again, I'll link that above B right here, uh, right now. So anyways, um, but this is the drop valve method for finding top dead center. So for whatever reason, if you don't have a timing pin, this one will have a timing pin. I just wanted to do it this way for, you have to do it for doing the, the camshaft and I had a degree the camshaft. So if you have a P-Pump 24 valve that has a, um, a timing cam sensor, sorry, cam sensor, and you, you can't do it for doing timing or whatever, uh, this is one way you can do it. And now what you can do is you mark your, your, um, harmonic balancer brain you're going brain dead for some reason harmonic balancer so what you can do is you can do the same thing with this um so instead of using the the degree wheel what you'll do is is you'll um bring it around when you're bringing it around when it stops when it touches the valve you need to be careful but when it touches the valve you mark your harmonic balancer and then you go in the middle of that you can use a rule to do that um or you know tape measure or whatever and then it will get you very very close a lot closer actually than the timing pin will in my opinion so anyways uh what you need to do here this is actually very simple to do. Um, you know, it's not, uh, you know, I, it's not rocket science, I don't think. Um, but I know and my buddy David, you're, I'm sure David's probably watching, so he'll get a kick out of that. Um, I've done this for a long time, so it's, for me, it's, uh, I'm just used to doing it, and it's, you know, easy, I guess. So, what you need to do, and I've already, I was I, halfway through this process before I realized that I should tape it. So what you want to do here is you want to, you need to roll your rocker down. And the reason you need to roll the rocker down is you need to, um, you need to, now you want to bring it close to top dead center as you can, because it's easier if you're close to top dead center, you don't want to be on top, top dead center when you start. Uh, but then it gives you a reference of where you are, especially if you're working with a truck around you, it's a little more work, right? And I do recommend when you're doing this to turn it off of your um, harmonic balancer bolts if you can, uh, because there's not a lot of leverage. You don't want to use um, you don't want to use the flywheel method for turning it because you can bend the valve. You have to be careful. So what you need to do is you need to wind your rocker. So take your lash out, wind your rocker down. The stock engine's 100,000 enough, um, being that this one's got some stuff done, we are going to go 150,000 down. So basically one full turn, half a turn, and that basically what you're doing is you're bringing the valve down so the piston comes up and touches the valve and won't let you go any farther. And then you need to rotate the engine the opposite direction until it touches it and then figure out what in between is your top dead center. So what we're going to do here is... We're gonna bring this around. I'm gonna be right close to it here. So we are at, I'd say 10 and a half there. So now we're gonna rotate it around. So come back off to top dead center. Piston's gonna to go to the bottom, come back up again. This is easy to roll over because there's no pistons in it, but and then it just stopped again and we are 10 and a half right now. Just maybe a, just a touch off 10 and a half. So if you don't have, now if you're doing a, a pointer like this, what you can do is you can just sh shimmy it over just a little bit. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna come around 
and do the same thing on this side and just double check to make sure that you're touching. Almost perfect there. Yeah. One more time just for good measure. Make sure we're in the same on both sides. Perfect. We are. Okay. So now we know in between. So now we're, we, we figure we're 10 and a half, 10 and a half. Now we know that zero, I've already set this. So I, I kind of already monkey around it a little bit. Um, basically, you know that your zero is going to be top dead center. Now, if you have to adjust it, um, sometimes you have to adjust the wheel to get it in the right spot. Um, but I've, like I said, I, I was halfway through the process before I realized that I should do a video on it. So basically you would just do it. So you would do it. So you get, it's the same on both sides base. So your top dead center, if you take now take loosen your rocker off. If you were setting timing, your top dead center is going to be right there. So that's the drop valve method for figuring that out. Like I said, now you can do that same thing with your harmonic balancer. Um, basically you just need to mark, you know, if you had, you know, your 10 and a half, let's see, got a pointer here. If you were 10 and a half, or let's say 10 in 10, you would just put a mark on each side and then in the mark in the middle of that. So you use a rule or a tape measure, put it on there, figure out where your middle is, mark your middle, and that's where your top dead center is gonna be. So it's as easy as that. Pretty very, very simple, very simple. So I will also link above for you guys that have never done valve lash, I will link that above as well. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and uh, appreciate you watching. And thanks to my Patreons. Catch you on the next one.